This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Number seven, Jesus would not make an effort to defend himself at the trial. Uh, this was prophesied by Isaiah, again, back around 700 to 681 B.C. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. And sure enough, fulfilled in Matthew chapter 27, uh, starting with verse 13. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave no answer, not even to a single charge. So here's the fulfillment of the prophecy. The eighth prophecy. Um, he was numbered among lawbreakers. He was considered to be a lawbreaker. Now here's the interesting thing about this. There was no law that he broke. Pilate could not find a law that Jesus broke. There was nothing that he could find that he could accuse Jesus of. Not even just to punish him, nevertheless, kill him. He said, I find no fault with this guy. Not only once, but he said it a couple of times. And so there was no law that was broken, and yet he was numbered among the lawbreakers. Isaiah chapter 53, Therefore I will divide him a portion with the many, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. There's a direct prophecy about the Messiah. And it was fulfilled in Luke chapter 23. Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Numbered among the criminals, numbered among the lawbreakers, a prophecy from Isaiah. And Jesus was considered a lawbreaker even though he never broke a law. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open